The human body is made up of the following elements by weight. 65% oxygen, 18.5% carbon, 9.5% hydrogen, 3.2% nitrogen, 1.5% calcium, and 1% phosphorus. That makes up almost 99% of the human body. The next 0.85% comprises of potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium. The remaining fraction of a percent comprises of trace elements. No, I'm not doing a Walter White and arguing that something is missing, i.e. the soul. I'm instead going to go back to basics and ask, what are we made of? The answer in its simplest form is atoms. Humans and all other forms of life are composed of atoms. I think that we can all agree on that. Now take a single atom, let's say a single oxygen atom, the human body's most common element by weight. Is that single oxygen atom aware of its surroundings? Does it have any feeling? Is it able to move around the room at will? No, it doesn't have any form of sentience whatsoever, at least not as far as we know. Now if I get two oxygen atoms and put them together, forming an oxygen molecule for those of you who are scientifically inclined, does the new molecule have any more ability to think or to perceive? No, it's still inanimate. What if I pile on ten more atoms? Does it get closer to becoming a living creature? Nope. What if I get hundreds of different atoms of various types, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, and so on, and add them all together in a big pot and mix them together? Does life suddenly come into existence? Of course not. I'm being facetious. As the old adage goes, God doesn't use pot. So why then do our best and brightest think that life just came into being over billions of years? What happened where a bunch of different types of atoms decided to band together and form a living cell? Well, of course, they didn't decide anything. The most common explanation is that life just occurred by chance. With trillions and trillions of planets floating around in our universe, the chances of life occurring on at least one of those planets is considered fairly unremarkable. But I beg to differ. How can random collisions of atoms, even over billions of years on trillions of planets, ever result in life? It just doesn't make sense to me. If I grabbed a brick and plopped it on the ground, would it ever become life? No, of course not. What if I piled on more and more bricks over and over again? I made a huge pile taller than any mountain. Would they ever spontaneously merge together and form some kind of giant brick monster? Of course not. It would be ridiculous to think as such. Over the years, some scientific experiments have been done to try to replicate the early stages of the planet Earth in order to show how DNA and so on might come into existence, but none were conclusive. Now that's not to say that there won't be some future experiments that reach a different conclusion, but at least in 2018, we don't know for certain how life spontaneously came into being. Even if we were able to prove the process of how atoms turned into life, it still doesn't get us any closer to answering what happened before the universe. How did the universe come into existence? My only conclusion is that there must be a higher power of some sort. Now that doesn't necessarily mean God, or gods, but certainly some form of intelligence. All scientific theory that I have read does not adequately address how the universe came into being. Many scientists agree that there was originally a small, pebble-sized object that contained all the atoms and radiation of the universe. The object itself sprang into existence from nothingness, and then after a mere fraction of a second, it exploded into what we now call the observable universe. The so-called Big Bang Theory is the most popular theory to describe our universe's origin. But it still begs the question, where did that pebble-sized object come from? Can something really come from nothingness? What made it appear? What made it explode? How and why would life evolve from such an event? I can understand why religions exist. I can understand why philosophers ponder over the meaning of life. It is incredibly difficult to fathom. The only conclusion in my opinion is that something created all of this, or at least the processes involved. Now I'm not arguing for any particular religion. There are plenty of religions, read all religions, that have done some pretty horrific things in their short history. I'm not arguing for or against a benevolent god, or a hateful god. There are plenty of arguments against both of these. I'm not even arguing that there is a being that is in constant control of everything. I'm just arguing that there must be something intelligent that caused all of this. Call it God. Call it Jehovah. Call it the Matrix. Whatever it is, I don't believe for a second that life just came about by mere chance. And certainly, the universe didn't just pop into existence from nothingness. Simply put, a higher power 
must exist.